all right i am back and ready to start making some more videos thank you guys for sending your friend requests and whatnot fill up my good old partner list and also i am almost there to finishing my menti quest hopefully you guys can help me with that this guy needs to start bringing more but yeah very much close to that aside from that we did get a lot of progress this week the last two weeks to be honest um yeah decent amount of strat stuff decent amount of rank pvp stuff i didn't really pvp it, like at all this week um but i still get like 200 points almost there to challenger although i don't really care what i get it's whatever for the most part like i honestly this does not change at all so i guess i'll aim for challenger get those 400 crystals or whatever extra you know aside from that though some really nice things happened uh this week in terms of gear we got a lot of nice stuff the first being on the counter side we got an extra hp maze case which was really really nice uh, i don't know what the other There. got another nice uh maze case here very much enjoying this one i'm gonna reroll this to crit damage res right now oh there you go got lucky easy and that's pretty much it for the counter side of it um you know everything else is pretty much done for the most part i got anti-ranger for show hojin's weapon which is kind of sad but everything else is like good i think other than that though Got some nice uh new equipment i think i can actually show it right here obtain time so we got some new t6 gear right here one is a tax speed case so honestly not that bad but everything else like, whatever right uh, yeah overall not bad for the counter side but for soldiers uh i rolled another evasion gordius even though i kind of wanted to get a tax speed or at least hp or tanks other than that, I also got a cooldown one, naturally, for one of my, or one soldier unit. Which is nice, one of the new courageous scopes. But I still gotta reroll some of these stuff as well. Soldiers, honestly, right now are just disappointing for me. Really annoyed, but I have some decent gear. But for Mex, trying to roll for CDR on Sigma all week. In the end, though, seems like uh, I didn't really get to get that goal. Rather... Instead, I rolled five attack speed maze gears, and now they all have anti defender on them, which gives Titan pretty much like 60 50% anti defender and 50% like anti ground damage. He's gonna shred defenders really fucking hard. So yeah, pretty happy about that, I guess. Got some cooldown. No, I got two HP ones from trying to roll for CDR, so I have that set for a tank now. I have another one for HP, but I think I'm going to reroll this because HP on Courageous is not the move. Other than that, though, very happy about everything else, I guess. Uh, the one thing that did happen, which was really nice, is the fact that I rolled Nayubin in one pull. One ten pull. Very nice. He has been very uh, satisfactory. He's a really nice unit. I do enjoy him a lot. So I got one ten Nayubin, right? Uh, and a few of these other characters, I believe. 110 Ryan Farrier, finally. Other than that, uh, I also got the wedding skins for everyone. I got Jarlin, Happy Wade, Mia, and the other ones as well. I want to wait her up. Uh, one? No, today I should be able to get her to 110 with the dupes. I finished my battle pass. Um, Jake Walker, 108. He was very, very useful in Danger Close. I believe I was like rank 58 ish i think or something like that uh i also have 110 Esterosa. very happy about this uh she's gonna be very much used this week if i predict it to be what i think it is so this 110 Esterosa is definitely gonna help a lot i got a lot of dupes of her don't ask uh, which him joe Wan is getting up on there eddie fisher i'm very happy about he is getting up in there as well when it comes to uh 
gauntlet PvP this week as well. Aside from that, I also got Ammon Riflements up to 108. So they're ready to go in terms of that. And I think that's everything for the most part. Besides, you know, getting some extra PvP for everyone. So other than that, really nice monthly stuff that happened this week. Got a lot of fusion cores. I still can get a lot of fusion cores. I just don't have the materials to do so. Um also awaken tickets resulting in that 10 pool. Very nice amount. Enough for one and a half fitties. And halfway there to getting Yanjing Lanchester. Hopefully I get lucky on her though. Oh, something else too. I also built pod. So now I have every ship in the game. And I have G armor now. Not pod. My bad. G armor. I have G armor now. So my next goal is to build myself a okay. another new Detroit. I'm gonna try and build a second new Detroit for P just in case, you know. Uh when type A and type B come back. Or right now it would have been really useful. But no, I guess this week New Detroit would be used for Soul and then since it's air units, I guess Enterprise. But other than that, I mean, yeah. I'm trying to get another one. But I do have enough armor pieces. I should have enough soon to build myself a coffin six if it does come out. And I might build Abraham for fun. Yeah, I think that is it for the weekly. So very, very happy with the progress so far. So let's move on to PvP ups and bans review. Aside from that, I do want to say that I do have a collab video coming up soon with Simon Snipe. We basically talk about now a lot, and we're gonna split it into two videos. One's going to be basically kind of like the informational part of it, and then the other one's gonna be PvP life uh, testing, basically. And it's gonna be really good. Oh, I hope it is good. <laughs> now let's split into shots. Ah, I should change my profile picture. Hold up. I am not clicking right now. Two. Ah, yes. No, let's, let's select Sigma for this, shall we? Actually, no, let's do Esterosa. This is going to be Esterosa week. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do this. All right, so let us move on yeah, to PvP. Give me this good stuff. So we have ourselves a minus one ban for Chifuyu and Yuna. Got a ban, mm -hmm. two ban for Einstein's Vice, so there's two bans right there. We got a two ban for Gayun, so that is four bans in total. Uh, Evelyn minus one ban, Yumina plus one ban, that is five bands in total. Lee Yumi Young Herm plus one ban, that is seven bands in total. So we got the five units that are new banned right here. Ooh, Heinz's Valley obviously unusable. Gayun definitely unusable. Yumina could be used, but I think it's always a cost at this point. Uh, Young Herm and Lee Yumi also unusable in my opinion. I definitely think. Just using Shinatsu and Claudia again are probably the way to go here. Uh, especially since Young Herm doesn't really do well that uh, that well against uh, Nayub and Nice, right? Other than that, though, uh, we also have New Ohio and G Armor bans. This is the first week that G Armor got banned. It's very nice. New Ohio, no more silence bullshit is going to go on, but Lake Superior is unbanned. However, I actually don't think Lake Superior is going to be used this week that much. Now Yubin does counter like superior to a certain extent. It probably will be banned next week, but that is fine for the most part. I think Enterprise is probably going to be the best ship this week simply because of how much damage you can do with it and the mechanics that you can uh, use with it. Um, maybe Kami too. Who knows? Up units though. Very, very excited. Uh, not going to use that for sure. Kim Silva is usable, but I am not going to use that myself because the way she works is kind of not really... It here eddie fisher one cost 
buffer for counters and soldiers 100% using him. He has a rotation unit. Very nice unit in my opinion. I am going to use him as a nice fodder. So, that's my plan for the most part. I could try... I even died with this too. That's good. All right. Hmm. I'm not hungry. Anti sniper. And three for three is worth it. Oh, I'm strike this and this is assuming they aren't running a sniper. Can't stop injuring. That's just how it is. The Kyle is very unfortunate. That's actually we'll try it again. That was just one game. He has just more anti snipers than anything. That's awesome. <laughs> For some reason, I'm not very satisfied with how that went. Very much. Hmm. <laughs> so we lead might not be that bad because you don't really lose anything for ditching to Kong, right? Rosario. Come back. Seraphos is just a basic guy you've been there. But is that very is that really what I need? Or do I need something like ten Again, if I don't get it. I do have rotation units. We'll try it. We'll try it. Let's see if this works. Uh maybe instead of empty sniper. Have something else like special anti ground or anti ranger. Here. Oh, 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 no, anti ranger. Let's we'll see how this goes then without a secondary tank. I, I doubt it. I doubt it'll go well, but this, this is the last match. We'll, we'll see how this goes, but honestly, without a second tank, I, I don't see how this is going to work. But with Eddie, maybe, maybe. 
with Eddie, maybe we can go to the front. Or here's a good example of uh, if we can actually get something here. For safety reasons. Perfect. I don't know if guys right now. Hmm. Okay. I could I could see Pendragon could suicide if I can kill enough cost. But in the end it really matters if I can get a Nayubin six or seven pick. Is it consistent enough otherwise? I'm not very sure. I'm not sure. I don't know how to feel about it, to be honest. I think having Sigma and then not even lead would probably be the best option here but at the same time Sylvia lead would mean Kong doesn't necessarily kill too much of the team right because basically both of them are dying for it for two costs so Sylvia kind of enables that now Pendragon would be even more interesting I think that's more for Kyle maybe Kim Sobin I'm not sure if I can kill Kim Sobin but it's possible it's possible We'll see what happens in this next match, though. This will be the final one. I don't want to drag this video for too long, but... Kind of tired. Maybe my decision-making isn't the best, but we'll see. We have two anti-snipers here, anti-rangers, and... Interesting. Interesting. You think Rosario lead then? I can see Rosario lead might work. You know? At the same time, I'm not sure. Cause I can just take my life. Easy as that. So, not very sure how I want to play. Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. But it is just the beginning of the week. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and see if you guys can get a better build. This is what I'm probably going to run for just a little bit. Just limit testing for a bit, but not bad, I think. It's not bad. Three wins out of four. It's not terrible. Yeah. Let's see what you guys can pull off, and I'll see you guys later.